this is the second question of analysis analysis of a vertical member uh, using answers program and this vertical member consists of two elements and its cross sectional area the first element cross sectional area is given here the second cross sectional area is also given and this uh, structure is made of steel with the young modulus is 200 gpa so we are going to analyze this vertical member using ansys program within the short time of around 10 to 15 minutes double click on the workbench okay and click on static structural and again click on engineering data and you will see here the default one is structural steel and our material is also the same material structural steel and with same young small less so we can use the default to value now you can close this one now go to the geometry right click on geometry and double click on new design modeler and we will go for xy plane again just like our previous uh, lecture one and go to look at so you will get xy plane if you want three dimension you can click on here or if you want to xy plane again just click on exit so you will get again xy plane now we can for drawing the vertical member for that one go to sketches and before drawing the vertical line uh, go to the settings and click on grid and select so the grid will be appear now and i have to go for major grid spacing so it is the default is 5 meter i want to draw the members in millimeter because in our questions all the dimensions are in millimeters so go to units make it millimeter and here i will go for 100 millimeter major grid spacing because uh, our member length is uh, yes our vertical member length of each element is 200 millimeter so i selected uh, major grid spacing is 100 millimeter now uh, we can go for drawing the line click on the line i will start from origin so select the origin and the length of the first element is 200 millimeter so this is 100 this is 200 okay just click here yes now you can check the dimension go to general select your line and see what is v1 v1 is 200 millimeter now you can go for the second line so for that one i will go for sketch 2 just then again go to the draw select the line start from here yes this is 100 and this is 200 okay so this is i already explained in the previous lecture also when it is v then just click we represent the your line is purely vertical just just click here and again go to the dimension to verify select the second line yes v2 what is v2 200 okay it's okay now you have to these are drawn on sketch one and sketch two so you have to create the line from the sketcher so go to the lines from sketches then select the first line then apply that means now you have to generate the line one for that one select line one uh, right click and generate okay again go to the concept lines from uh, sketches so apply so it is not selected i will select it okay now it's okay and before generating the line to go to the add material and add frozen now you have to go to line to right click and generate okay this is also done it so now you created two line bodies you will see here two line bodies but we are not assigned the cross section for this one so you have to assign the cross section for that one again you have to go to the concept and there is a cross section in the question it is mentioned uh, rectangular cross section the two elements are the rectangular cross section so select the rectangle one 
and what is the dimension yes the cross section of the element 1 is 30 millimeter into 15 millimeter so you have to make cross section so width will be I will select width is 30 millimeter and what about the the other dimension yes 30 into 15 okay so this one will be 15 yes so this is the rectangle one and now you have to go for again for the rectangle 2 select the second cross section this is rectangle 2 and its dimension is given 15 millimeter into 15 millimeter okay so two rectangles are created now you have to assign these rectangles to the line body okay for that one uh, we will go for a line body one and we have to select the rectangle so the line body one will be the rectangle one and go to the line body two that is rectangle two yes now these two line bodies i have to combine a new part form new part so now it's okay now the same thing just like your previous uh, lecture uh, cross section as uh, we have to go to view and on the cross section then only you will see the cross section as yes. now you can see the cross section you can also see in three dimension yes so this is your uh, cross section of the vertical member so you will see here two vertical members sorry two elements and with its uh, cross section now we can minimize and go to the model click on model yes so go to the geometry and your line bodies yes the two line bodies what's the material it is assigned it's a structural steel line body one and line body two is structural steel let us see here yes it is written here structural steel okay now you have to go to mesh you have to generate the mesh yes mesh is generated so these are uh, generated with the default values so you will see here how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay anyway uh, you can change the default values if it is required for that one you have to go here element size and you can select the length of element depends on your requirement so for example i want to make the 10 millimeter so 10 e to the power minus 3 okay then go to mesh right click and update yes now you will see here it is the length of each element is 10 millimeter okay because uh, as you know in the beginning the length of the major element was 200 millimeter that is now divided into uh, different elements with a length of 10 millimeter okay anyway this is okay now you will go for static structural you will apply the boundary conditions and load so go to static structural right click insert and first i will go for fixed support and then i will select the support the fixed support is only at the bottom and you have to go and select the vertex then click here apply yes vertex is selected now the fixed support you created the fixed support at the bottom now you have to apply the load the load is acting what's the load the load is 2500 newton it is acting vertically downward so you have to go here again go to static structural right click insert and where is the force yes this is a force then this force is acting in the vertical direction so you have to select the components go to the components 
and in y direction the load is acting it is vertically downward so you have to put a negative sign 2500 newton yes i think 2500 newton let me see here yes 2500 newton so we don't have forces on x y so it is zero okay so now you have to select where the load is acting at this point yes apply okay now 2500 newton is acting vertically downwards so if you just click on select the static structure you will see at the same time the fixed support and the vertical load acting so now the conditions are completed now you can go for analysis for that one you go to solution and in from analysis what are the output required go to solution right click and select the total deformation we need the deformation and also we need stresses so go to the again insert and go to beam tool from the beam tool you will get the stresses direct stress also i need the reaction so again go to solution right click uh, reaction is available in the probe go to the force reaction and we need the reaction at the fixed support okay so all the parameters which is required is defined here so go to solution go to static structural right click and then click on solve wait for a moment yes this is a total deformation and you will see from this picture the maximum deformation at the at here at this joint it is a red color because where only you are applying the force 2500 newton and please remember the deformation is given here in millimeter and you will see zero here at the blue color because there is no deformation at the bottom this is a support fixer support okay now go to the direct stress and you will see the direct stress here and you will see all are in negative and this is in pascal negative indicates the members are the compressive members okay you have two elements here basically two elements so both elements are in the compress both members are compressive members and go to the force reaction the force reaction okay here it is showing the direction of the reaction so what is this reaction this reaction value is also given here the reaction will be acting the y axis upward that's why 2500 newton okay so that's all about the analysis of this vertical member thank you